Welcome to Whispers Through. And the three those who live in castles shouldn't throw stones. Omatiro, we should be. Oromatiro, fake Oh, 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 oh. If you have skeleton in your cupboard, ah ah. Oh. So, who been about it? Eti eti ba leje tu ba. Iba te wa la mu ba ka te ba te ba ka. Then so, just never forget me. How dare you? You can sit on your high horse and say that. I didn't even know you are your Ruben man. Shame on you, Ruben Abati. Ara, 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 what a son of a man. In your parata, parata, I like to do tea. I like to do no horror. Only land where consultants never fell on it. Hm? She be your rubber, look up, cut it, cut Nigerian. Hmm. What's that changing? Hmm. Ah, I'm so happy. This guy took you to the dry cleaners. Yes, he took you to the dry cleaners. Hmm. Dear Ruben Abadi, you robust of determination and treasonable felony. Hmm. I'm so so job. Not being in high mood or pleasantries, please permit me to permit me the latitude to abbreviate greetings under the usual Nigerian mannerism or protocols observed. I saw a shocking video of your recent morning show on Arise News. In that panel discussion, the current agitation for Yoruba self-determination was at issue. You claimed with such menacing passion that Nigeria has been particularly kind to the Yorubas more than any other race. You labeled the peaceful and legitimate agitation of a people for self-determination as a crime and called the vocal few representing popular agitation as people committing treasonable felony. I react to this provocation. One, to correct the use of the word kindness and substitute wickedness to Nigeria, substitute wickedness of Nigeria to the Yoruba. Two, to discourage other intellectual mercenaries before they are recruited to spread toxic propaganda that can fracture our current unity. Three, to warn Yoruba Helens that this treasonable felony idea you float on here may be one message passed through you to soften the ground for Nubelo's action against Professor Banji Akitoye, Chief Sunday Igbo and other associates. My fear is that this may be a prelude to actions aimed at arresting, incarcerating, harming and God forbid killing of some of these agitators. Yes, of course, they do making steps. Steps are being taken to arrest Sunday Igbo. It was forced we late. On his way to a meeting, then they went to his house and they tried twice to give him a letter. Can you beat that? Mm. 
I do not intend to embark on deep character observations, but I believe it is in order. Dear Dr. Abati, to find out where your case file with EFCC stands at this time. Mm. Uh. For one recalls from the Sahara reported story of October 24th, 2016 that you were arrested for money laundry to the tune of 50 million naira in October 22nd, 2016 or thereabouts. I wonder if you have settled and how for we observe that you have not been harassed since your release. I hope you are not being squeezed to do the bidding of government as they appear as they prepare to confront the Yoruba agitators using some of our people. In explaining your conduct to the people, I believe these derivatives would be close to accurate as I have interpreted the sense in your in my own words. You said something to the effect that Nigeria has been a especially kind to the Yorubas than most other groups within the union and therefore have absolutely no cause to complain but the Yorubas insist that Nigeria has viciously downgraded their progress, dented the future of their generations and concerned, consigned the career of their citizens to hopelessness. You premised this false kindness narrative under the following. Yoruba controls the economy, an absolute falsehood. The control of the Nigerian economy is in the office of Alaji Aliko Dangote and Abdul Samad Rabiu, Rabiu, both Awusufulani. And this happens, happened recently under the patronage Patronage of your Eba King's man, General Obasanjo, continued relentlessly under the regime through waivers, import licenses, and tax holidays to these two almost exclusively. And having been in government, obviously, you know why. The gradual decomposition of the position of the Yorubas in the Nigerian economy has been deliberate and consistent, particularly on the generous Abacha, Obasajo, and Buhari. Name one bank controlled by the Yorubas today. How about the oil and gas and other major sectors of the economy? The industrial and financial sectors typical of Yoruba Wizardry has since been sabotaged through various government efforts at emasculation. Your assertion is absolutely false and you know it. The Yorubans have produced presidents twice and currently own the vice president. Correction, please. The NAF has produced three presidents of their choice from Yoruba's proxies, guaranteed to serve and preserve their interests and privileges. General Obasanjo twice, Ernest Shoneko, and your right, the current redundant member of government, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo who does not know how to work for them and therefore is as powerful in that regime as I am in Lagos State. You refer to the election of M.K. Wabiola but forgot or failed to remember that Abiola belonged absolutely to them until they find him unsuitable to the cause they wanted to chart. M.K. Abiola was their bulldog, used to harass, 
torment and bite chief Awolowo into impotence. Is it not curious, dear Dr. Abate, that most of these minions and slave drivers of their people appear like you to be appear like you to be a black elite who care little for the poor people of Egba land and even less for the Yoruba tribe. Chief Justice Atitokubo Ademola, Egba Prince, sealed the fate of Awunawa and helped Amadu Bedo concern him to prison. Obastojo frustrated the ambition of Obafemi Awunawa and thus denied the people of Nigeria exemplary leadership. True to type, Shoneko did the same to M.K. Abiola and denied us of knowing how things would have been. And here you go again, helping them to plot the downfall of this legitimate agitation. Why so? He even said that the Yorubas have been well served, Abati. I have not been served at all. I know you have. Yet, there is a dangerous dimension to your words. The shout out to the Fulani government that proponents of self determination have committed the crime of treasonable felony is terrifying. It is disturbing because it would appear to many to be designed by those who want to arrest and incarcerate the likes of Professor Bangi Akitoye and Sonjay Go in order that they can intimidate the rest of us and stop the tide of independence. By the way, while you call for the government to charge these patriots with felony, what call are you now suggesting for Meyeti Yala, the Akila Hatsmen, and the leaders who fuel and fund them? How about the Northern Group, Fulani National Movement, Fulan, who owned up attacking the intent, attacking with intent to kill a servant governor, Autumn of Benue State? It would appear that plans are in place to arrest and charge. Professor Akitoye and Sunday Boho while using Yoruba profes professional press legionnaires to test the waters and make it appear that a crime has been committed. It is well it is a well appreciated fact that the Fulani are experts at baiting a mimian monkey with a red banana in order to catch the head monkey. It is important that you either heat up, eat up your words and apologize to show the public you are not part to a conspiracy or remain silent and pray that no one comes to your leaders of this movement. There you have it, Abati. You just got served. Mm. Dr. Abati Abadi, mm? you better remain silent or else you eat your pounded yam raw. Humanity, for what is you will leave, Abadi? Jati, jati, nikam. There you have it, guys. Mm. But it just got served. I didn't even know he's a Yoruba man. I would have more time to know him. I want to love what he did. I want to hear you go so long ago. I want to hear you go so long ago. I want to hear you go so long ago. I want to hear you go so long ago. I want to hear you go so long ago. So Yoruba ni abati, Yoruba ni, um, Yoruba pasa. Ah, until I come your way again. Bye.